Since the beginning of mankind, the concept of cooperation has been the foundation of harmonious existence. Mahatma Gandhi once said that cooperatives are the gateway for economical development. By effectively implementing this philosophy, the Karnataka State Sauharda Federal Cooperative Limited has successfully achieved an environment that is conducive to the growth of Sauharda cooperatives in Karnataka. In India, as early as the first century, Shatavahanas adapted the concept of cooperation in the daily life of people. The great economic exponent Acharya Chanakya has propounded the necessity of the cooperative philosophy even in the delivery of justice. In 1844, the Rockdale Society of Equitable Pioneers became the first cooperative initiative formed under any cooperative law in the world. It was on 25th March 1904 that the Cooperative Credit Societies Act 1904 came into existence. On 8th May 1905, a 12-member society called the Agriculture Credit Cooperative Society came into existence under the leadership of Sri Siddhanagauda Sannaramana Gauda Patil at Kanagina Hala village in the present district of Gadag. Then, this act was limited to agriculture credit cooperative societies. To overcome this limitation, the Cooperative Societies Act 1912 was formed to include other activities of cooperatives. The newly legislated the Cooperative Societies Act 1912 became the model for the provincial governments to form their own cooperative acts. As time passed, other aspects were included in the Cooperative Act thus heralding the resurgence of a new era in the cooperative movement. Post-independence, various state governments framed their own independent cooperative acts and the central government its multi-state cooperative act. A panchayat, a cooperative society and a school for every village were considered as the three pillars of community development. By the beginning of the 1950s, the absence of the government's active participation in the cooperative movement was felt. The state and the central governments started investing crores of rupees in the form of shares, grants, subsidies, contributions and so on. In spite of which, the cooperative movement did not yield the expected results. This condition continued for the next two to three decades. Keeping this in mind, the central government set up a committee under the chairmanship of Sri Ardhanarishwaran. This committee submitted the report in 1987. It attributed the failure of the cooperative movement to the excessive interference by the governments. It is also true that the unabated party politics in the cooperative movement is also a big hindrance to its progress. Realizing the vital role of the cooperative movement in the progress of society, the Central Planning Commission set up a committee with the task of drafting a model cooperative act which will prevent interference by the governments, appointing Sri Chaudhary Brahma Prakash as its head. This committee, after a detailed study of the cooperative acts of various states, drafted a model cooperative act in 1991. The central government recommended the state governments to adopt this. A bill named Karnataka Sauharda Cooperative Act 1997 on parallel cooperative act was passed by the state legislature of Karnataka in 1997. Though the president of India had given his consent to the act, it was not enforced. Demanding an immediate enforcement of the act, a committee Sauharda Samvardhana Samiti under the chairmanship of Justice Rama Joyce came into existence. It was due to the combined efforts of Sahakara Bharati Karnataka and Sauharda Samvardhana Samiti, the act was finally enforced in January 2001. The Federal Cooperative or the Karnataka State Sauharda Federal Cooperative Limited was established in compliance to the requirement of the new act. Responsible member, self-monitoring and proactive programs are the fundamental mantras of the Federal Cooperative. India's only elected constitutional entity, the Federal Cooperative's mandate is to supervise, motivate and facilitate developmental activities among the Sauharda Cooperatives. For the first time we were given the responsibility of controlling the cooperatives. 
earlier the register was doing this it was a challenge to have good relationship and to support the sauharda cooperatives and at the same time regulate them any government individual or an establishment are averse to the idea of declining power including the cooperative department it is not so responsive in spite of their non cooperation sauharda cooperative movement has gained momentum ಸೌಹಾರ್ದ ಕಾಯ್ದೆಯಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ನಿಯಂತ್ರಣ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನುವ ಭಾವನೆ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ರಿಂದ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳೋದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ಕಾರಿ ಇಲಾಖೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೂಕ್ತವಾದ ಸ್ಪಂದನೆಯನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಅದುಮಿಟ್ಟಿರುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಶಕ್ತಿ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೆಡರಲ್ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮನೋಹರ ಮಸ್ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಹಿರೇಮಠ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸತೀಶ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಆಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುನಾಥ್ ಜಾಂತಿಕರ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೌಹಾರ್ದ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ who by using advanced technology have achieved fast flawless operation and many other innovative initiatives till now over 40 cooperative leaders have served federal cooperative as directors the contribution of the committed staff in the growth of federal cooperative is also valuable in existence since 2002 the federal cooperative has in its fold over 3500 cooperatives that includes credit cooperatives urban cooperative banks multi purpose cooperatives self help cooperatives house building cooperatives consumer cooperatives education cooperatives and others from diverse fields over 80% of these cooperatives have been registered under the new sauharda act and the rest were converted from the old act the success of the sauharda sahakari act is evident from the fact that more and more number of cooperatives are being registered under this act the sauharda act which has come in karnataka of course is one of the very good experiments in karnataka we have implemented uh, that very effectively and uh, um, sauharda is very successful in uh, karnataka the only seniors were getting into this uh, cooperative field only farmers were getting into this cooperative movement but with the more freedom that is accorded to sauharda cooperatives and uh, quite liberalized atmosphere youngsters have started coming in those who were not in the movement have got into this uh, sauharda cooperative institutions and thereby more uh, people got into the movement and different type of people uh, people who were in different walks of life they all uh, uh, started looking up for cooperative movement that is one uh, big uh, success of this sauharda cooperative act this was the cooperative societies act and this was the karnataka sauharda act as you can see there is some difference between the two the beauty of the karnataka sauharda act for me was its simplicity there was also a promise that we would be autonomous after conversion i must say those promises were filled and i have been very happy with the karnataka sauharda uh, act also the administration of the act through the karnataka sauharda federation and the government this is a very important and significant step towards the modernization of legislation in our country the federal cooperative is successfully discharging its duties in bestowing the sauharda cooperatives with the most required operational freedom and bringing them under a disciplined self regulation as per the mandate of the sauharda sahakari act the federal cooperative can draft model bylaws determine the standards of financial stability of sauharda cooperatives can carry out inspection of the member cooperatives formulate a model code of conduct encourage new cooperatives with diverse initiatives transact and deliver services on behalf of the member cooperatives prepare a charter of auditors monitor elections of the member cooperatives 
The Federal Cooperative can exercise powers including that of annulment of the Board of Directors of the member cooperatives in case of violation of the Act and bylaws by any member cooperative. The torchbearer of the Sauharda Cooperative Movement in Karnataka, the Federal Cooperative, is taking a number of necessary statutory actions and proactive steps. The facilitation of the e-stamping business by cooperatives, an activity that is the first of its kind in India, is a unique achievement of the Federal Cooperative. Our positive point is that we provide customized products. Any new innovation, change, has to be accepted and acquired. Sometimes, even it is not necessary. This is to avoid the technological gap that may arise someday in the future. Enhancing the technological maturity of the federal cooperative was my priority. The user-friendly website of Federal Cooperative is a home for all details of the cooperative sector. Swabhimani Sahakari, the monthly magazine, updates all the members of Sauharda Cooperatives on the latest developments and information about cooperative movement in other states apart from national and international trends and developments. Along with publicizing the achievements of the Federal Cooperative, the guidelines to the member cooperatives, the Cooperative Ministry's important notifications and circulars are published in Swabhimani Sahakari. Various books on Sauharda Sahakari Act in English in Canada, modeled by laws, along with many books needed for the member cooperatives, are also published by the Federal Cooperative. The Federal Cooperative provides information and training to its member cooperatives on the usage of modern technology for quick and simplified services, necessary inflexible security measures, along with other technological developments for their day-to-day -day functioning. The Federal Cooperative in its bid to increase the credibility, efficiency and the confidence of the member cooperatives conducts at regular intervals, seminars, workshops, overview meetings, special training programs, annual meetings of CEOs of member cooperatives. Federal Cooperative in association with various universities has organized several dialogue discussion programs with youth and students to kindle an interest towards cooperative field among them. Several initiatives by Federal Cooperative such as workshops for chartered accountants and so on have increased the credibility and efficiency of cooperative sector. Some of the member cooperatives of the Federal Cooperative have set an example by adopting innovative business practices. The Sri Arihanta Credit Sauharda Cooperative Limited, Borgaon, Chikkodi. Known for its financial discipline and organized customer services, the Arihanta Sauharda Cooperative also provides opportunities even to the economically weaker sections of society to participate in financial transactions. The Hirekerur Taluk Vidyavardaka Sauharda Cooperative Limited, Hirekerur. In addition to establishing institutions right from LKG to college level, this Vidyavardaka Sauharda Cooperative also runs primary and high school teacher training colleges. The Spice Root Sauharda Cooperative Limited, Sirsi. Established with the purpose of developing local tourism, it organizes a stay for six months, mainly for foreign tourists. One of the objectives is to introduce Indian culinary and cultural traditions to such tourists. The Sri Siddhaganga Vidya Samste employees Sauharda Credit Cooperative Limited, Tumkur. This cooperative disburses necessary on-time loans, thus ensuring the well-being of all the staff members of over 130 educational institutions of the Sri Siddhaganga Trust. The Kadamba Marketing Sauharda Cooperative Limited, Sirsi. It has earned fame by facilitating and providing a marketplace for every local product from the farmers of North Canara district, be it honey, condiments or even any edible fruit. Suvida Vividho Desha Sauharda Sahakari Niyamita Sagara. 
This cooperative has the distinction of being the first cooperative supermarket in the rural region serving consumers using state of the art technology. Swat fast food is another attraction at this cooperative. Hamsa Chaitanya Sauhada Credit Sahakari Niyamita Udupi. The secret of success of this cooperative is the provision for solar light loans to migrant laborers. This loan has been dispersed to the migrant families who don't have access to electricity. It's a record that 100% loan repayment has been achieved as the loan amount is collected once a week at their doorsteps of these laborers. Shri Chauti Vividodesha Sauharda Sahakari Niyamita Yaksamba Chikodi Known as Jyoti Bazaar, Shri Jyoti Vividodesha Sauharda Sahakari Niyamita provides people with good quality necessary products at low prices. This has gained the reputation of being the most prestigious cooperative of the region. These are just examples. The Federal Cooperative is an inspiration to hundreds of such new cooperatives that have taken the plunge. We have built this head office in the same rural setting that we have grown up. We were with the old act till 2002. We then migrated to Savaharda act to provide better administration to the members. Today, I can proudly say that we have the capability to cater to every need of the rural public. The result of Sauharda Act is that more and more women are getting involved. Sauharda Act brought in more cooperatives. It is a matter of pride today to establish a cooperative and become a responsible director. ಸ್ವಯಂಮಾಡಳಿತಸ್ವಯಂನಿಯಂತ್ರಣದಿಂದಹೆಚ್ಚುಯುವಜನತೆಸಾಕರಿಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಕ
ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸಭೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಡೆಸೋದು ಮತ್ತು ತಮ್ಮ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಗಳು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಡೆಸುವ ಏನು ಮೇಲ್ವಿಚಾರಣೆ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಸೌಹಾರ್ದ ಸಹಕಾರ ಫೆಡರೇಷನ್ ಬಹಳ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅವರು ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ಪತ್ರಿಕೆಗಳು ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕಾನೂನು ಅದನ್ನು ಕೇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ ಪುಸ್ತಕಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ಅದನ್ನು ತಂದು ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರಿಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ತಮ್ಮ ಸದಸ್ಯರಿಗೆ ಒದಗಿಸ ಒದಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಒಂದು ಸಂತೋಷದ ಸಂಗತಿ ಇನ್ನು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಈ ಈ ಅಂಬ್ರೆಲಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಸ್ವಾಯತ್ತತೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಸಂಸ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಿಗುವ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಉತ್ತಮ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಮಹಿಳೆಯರಿಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಯುವಕರಿಗೆ ಈ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ತರಬೇತಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನ ಇವರು ಕೊಡುವಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಶಾಸನಬದ್ಧ ಕಾರ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವು ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳನ್ನ ಸರ್ಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳನ್ನ ತರಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಗಮನ ತರೋದನ್ನು ಈ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಒಂದು ಗುರಿ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ It is evident that self-regulation brings in discipline by the fact that more than 95% of the member cooperatives have undergone an audit within the stipulated time period. It is a matter of great pride that more than 90% of the newly registered cooperative societies opt for the Sauharda Sahakari Act. The federal cooperative facilitates training and guidance to the cooperatives migrating from the old act to the new Sauharda Sahakari Act. as there is no provision for government nominees intervention of political parties is minimal which has created an an apolitical atmosphere in the functioning of cooperatives this is one of the unique strengths of the sauharda sahakari act the self regulation is the best form of regulation i am very happy to note that at least one state in india karnataka already doing this in terms of creating self regulatory mechanism in which cooperative institution themselves will elect the body which will regulate all the institutions that really function in that institution for example karnataka is one good example that is self regulatory body could actually supersede one cooperative bank when they were not following the norms and that is what we will need to do and prakar ide reethi i want the old 1959 act also to be in the lines of sauharda act i want no control of the government i urge all the cooperatives who are running without government help to migrate to new sauharda act Federal cooperative should facilitate the migration. Directors of the federal cooperative should be clean, judicious, support good cooperatives and act as a deterrent to misdeeds. Take preventive measures against illegal activities. I am sure that everybody will embrace Sauharda when they see that every cooperative under Sauharda is performing well. Sauharda Sahitya Sahakari Sausthe Balashtu Valle Kelskari Gadan Mukantra ನಾಡಿನ ಜನರ ಮನ್ನಣೆ ಗಳಿಸಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಕೆ ನಾನು ಬಯಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಹಸ್ತಕ್ಷೇಪ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಸಹಕಾರಿ ಚಳವಳಿ ಊರ್ಜಿತಾವಸ್ಥೆ ಮುಟ್ಟಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಸಹಕಾರಿ ಚಳವಳಿ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಸಮಾಜದ ಕಟ್ಕಡೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಹಾಯ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬಹುತರವಾಗಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿಗೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಯಾವ್ಯಾವರು ಇದ್ದರೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಭಾಳ ಅಭಿಮಾನದಿಂದ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ organization of a cooperative society is a fundamental right now the constitution amendment uh, provides whatever we have incorporated in sauharda act whatever has been constitutionally amended the karnataka sauharda act 95% of that provision is already incorporated in the karnataka sauharda act elected representatives in the present context uh, a large number of people with younger age limit are entering the federal cause uh, so are the cooperatives that's a good sign the federal cooperative is planning to establish a state level sahar the apex bank to help the member cooperative to have refinance opportunities and help them reinvest their surplus funds encouraging member cooperatives to start joint venture businesses formation of cooperative unions facilitating formation of new cooperative society with diverse innovative initiatives empowering each cooperative work as a supermarket for financial products are few of the objects of federal cooperative it has been planned 
to begin a research and evaluation cell to enhance the quality of the activities and bring in new dimension to the functioning of Sauharda cooperatives. The Department of Research and Evaluation that came into existence during the decanery of Federal Cooperative is conducting several activities such as evaluation of cooperative sector by Mysore University. Initiation of deposit security project to uphold the interest of depositors, promotion of Sauharda cooperatives using different electronic media and motivating members Sauharda cooperatives to be active in Swachh Bharata Abhiyana. Publication of books with judgments of various courts on cooperative field and taxation norms for cooperatives and interstate study tour have been successfully conducted. There are plans to start video-based e-training classes and PT diploma courses in cooperation, banking, in association with the universities in the state. Sayukta Sakari, Oba Snehita Nagi, Oba Margadashaka Nagi, Sadasarege, Kanu no Salegal and Nidodu, Shikshana Tarbeti Karakramagal and Nadisikodan Tadu, Avashevitanta Sandra Badali or Artika Maitigalanum, Matu Margadashigal and Nahodsudu, Itadi Kalasakarigal and Nashasana Tmaka Karigal and Nervais Tide. Sakari Gulig Purkawagi, on the common software and Rupisi, model software and Rupisi, Sadesa Sakari Gulig, Namatra Badi Delia to Dardali or Nido and Takalasona Madakata, Yuzina Madidi. E on the Sakari Vivaste Purkawagi. Sakari Sahaya Wani and Rupisi, Savarta Sakari Galiranta, Yavi Sakari, Sakari Chetra, the Maiti and Niduanta, Kelsona, Saint Sakari in the Madakanta Prata the Lady. On Sakari Samstay and Rachana Madlike, Sakari Samstay and Bellas Lake, Sakari Samstay in the Samajake Undu Sarayad on Provision on a Pudlike, Idu Sadiagide, Idu Ilirta Kantaha Nama Dea, Soya Tate, Soya Madalita, Soya Muniantrana. You are on the Hundi Kanda Karana, Matu Badala Manega Hundi Kulike, attend the Vegavagi decision making and Ilia Janare, Ilia Borde, Madlik Sadi or Karana, Iritia Vundu, Vinutana Vevaste Agi, on the Madari Agi, Sakari Chetra de Leon, Hosa Chaitan Nivana, Kulik Sadi Agde. The Federal Cooperative is committed to the overall development and has achieved many milestones. Swabibani Samavesha, a conference of the Sauharda Cooperatives at the Kudala Sangama in 2005 has enhanced the importance and credibility of the Sauharda cooperatives. Coinciding with the celebrations of having 1,000 member cooperatives in the year 2008, the federal cooperative, during a function in the banquet hall of the Vidhana Sauda, enabled its member cooperatives to share business. The first divisional office was set up in Belgam in 2010. 100 e-stamping centers were launched by member cooperatives. The Federal Cooperative has displayed a deep concern towards social responsibility by providing the necessary help to those affected by the floods in North Karnataka in 2009. Women empowerment through cooperative activities was the sole objective of the state-level women's conference held in Bangalore that improved women participation in the cooperative movement. A review of the development of Sauharda Cooperative Movement in Karnataka in which few MLAs and MLCs also participated. Paper presentation in the 8th ICA Regional Research Conference which was organized by International Cooperative Alliance Asia and Mysore University. Workshop on cooperative movement and journalism for the journalists and media persons of Mysore district. Awareness program on cooperative laws and acts that was attended by more than 400 cooperative representatives. Regional cooperative conferences in Mysuru and Bengaluru are the important programs organized by the Federal Cooperative. 59th All India Cooperative Week 2014 was celebrated in Belgaum with the theme of strengthening of member related services and participation in cooperative movement. Honorable Governor of Karnataka Sri Vajubai Wala inaugurated the program. District in charge minister and Karnataka Cooperative Minister were present among other guests. Federal Cooperative aspires to start divisional offices in all divisions, delegate the work in stages to all these divisional offices and further set up offices in all districts along a suitable officer soon.
appointment of Sahartha Development Officers to create awareness and ensure sustained progress of Sahartha cooperatives at grassroots level manifest administrative maturity of federal cooperative. Establishment of an exclusive code to hasten and simplify the debt recovery process of member cooperatives is a huge leap forward. देश दली ये रीतियाँ वंदु काय दे वो अम्बत्तो राज्य गले ली बे कर्नाटक दली ये वंदु सवार दा साकारी गलो कुतुम आदरी तीन दली कार्य निर्वाहित ताय दरे ना वो साकारी क्षेत्र बड़ी बे को नो उद्देश्य तीन दा सरकार ये काय देना जारी कर सिदे मत्ते ये का नम्मा सरकार बंद में ले ना वो इधर कोंदु विशेष न्यायालय या नो कोड़ा मंजूर मार्क कोटी दे मत्ते काय दे ले इन्नो अनेक रीति ले वो स्वतंत्र वाके कार्य निर्वाह सक बेकार गोंता कानून उन गला तिपड़ी नो कोड़ा मार्क कोटी दे ये वंदु क्षेत्र को कोड़ा ये चिना उत्तेजन वन्ना राज्� that of realizing the dream of many senior activists of cooperatives for complete autonomy in their functioning. The federal cooperative has gained approval from both the public and the government and is marching ahead towards progress. So, what the Sakari Chalwadiya Uddeshe Arvudu Atwa Sakara Sangala Kaidiya Chalwadiya Uddeshe Arvudu You will allow the Mula Uddeshe and Agi De Antanre Samaj Dalli Rtakanta Katta Kade Vekti Ke Aakta Kanta Soshe Ne Anna निल्लस बेकु सोशन मुक्त समाज वन निर्माण मार्ग बेकु अंतकंत उद्देश्य वन आगित्तु सो युगत नान हम्मे इंद हेडता ये दिने कर्नाटक राज्य दली ये रीति मूर सवर आई दुनुरो सवार द साकारी कार्य निर्वाचिता येरोदरिंदा कर्नाटक दली बहुते का हच्चु बड्डी येन्ना कुट्टो साला वन येन पढ़िती द्रो अदन्ना ये इधर इंदा इस सवार दा सहकारी चढ़ी बड़ी गुड़ समाज मुख्य है कि कार्य वन निर्वाचित ऐसा है अंतक ने हम्मे इंदा नहीं हटता है ये कागले या वो सरकार इंदा शेयर होना धना साया ये वाला पढ़े दे देवे आवे वाले वो कुड़ा वंद कैटिगरी मार ले धना साया ये ना सरकार ने शेयर होने रुले आवे दे रीतिया Awal-awal kuda intis tu awadi wala gede, kaya deh na tidup pedi madi, intis tu awadi wala gede, awal-awal sewar dasa kari gede peribatane ageli antak kantatan na, kerajaan madli antak nanu vinanti madi ni, iden na nanu kerajaan madli bili, i kereta kantat Karnataka raja dalil muat tiol sahir sahkari samsti gede ni dawe, awal allah allah i mula kan awan vinanti an madi ni antandre, ta awal-awal kuda, swami mana sewar dasa kari kaya deh, awal-awal peribatane agabu ku antak kantat vinanti an madi ni, mula kan awanu kuda kurti ni. The Federal Cooperative is in the endeavor to improve Sauhartha movement qualitatively, make it stronger and highly socially oriented. Despite its numerous commendable achievements in a decade of its existence, the Federal Cooperative is aware of the fact that its achievements are negligible compared to the various possibilities in the cooperative movement. The member cooperatives who were responsible for this successful journey are the ones who would be shaping its prosperous future. Having celebrated a decade of its existence, the Federal Cooperative recommitted itself to achieving its stated goals in the year 2012, the International Year of the Cooperative, by imparting the necessary motivation, guidance and training to the cooperatives intending to embrace the Sauharda Sahakari Act the Karnataka State Sauharda Federal Cooperative is a shining star on the horizon of the success of the Sauharda Cooperatives and a guiding light in bringing about a Sauharda revolution in the cooperative sector. <laughs>